All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I already recorded this whole video, but I forgot to tell you tomorrow I'm live streaming me building a live Shopify store. I'm going to be live streaming three times a week. So tomorrow at seven o'clock, I'm going to be live streaming. So definitely don't forget to check that out. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I build a live store from scratch. And we're going to be doing it all together. We're going to be talking, going back and forward. It's going to be fucking fun. We're going to get a coffee. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget. Welcome back dropouts and thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. My name is Matthew. I make daily Shopify videos, give you guys course level content for absolutely free. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. And since that helps me so much to give you guys a little bit of extra incentive, I'm also going to be giving away a 15 minute mentorship call every single video. And all you got to do to enter is do those three things. And as always, I announced the winner of the mentorship call at the beginning of the video. So if you guys skip my little intro thing, make sure to go ahead and go back and check out who won from last week's video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be doing what my channel does best, where I get a lot of views, and it's going to be reviewing product research tools. And actually, I don't even think there's a single hotproducts.io review out there. So today, I'm going to be reviewing hotproducts.io, and it's a beautiful app. I'm looking at it right now. I just got it. I've had the chance to play with it for about 15 minutes, as always. I, I give myself a little bit of time to look through. And yeah, so let's jump into it, and let's take a look at what this product offer so let's get on my computer all right guys so here's hot products io beautiful i love this yellow or slash orange whatever gradient so it's a nice app it's 27 dollars a month and i think that's a sale that they have right now but you guys can go get it yourselves if you'd like and how they have it broken down is they have a hot products so warm products engagement calculator and audience builder and they also have rewards and hot requests so let's go down to hot requests and that seems pretty interesting to me to provide some more product okay so you can go fill this out and actually send them you know some personal recommendations that you have for uh, uh for hot products and that to me is a really good sign that makes me happy that makes me happy to see that they're willing to listen and they're willing to you know improve their app based on what their customers are saying and that's obviously always a good sign so next we're going to look at some rewards that they have so earn gifts during your membership so this is actually cool so this is an incentive to keep staying with them because a lot of people cancel their product research uh, memberships after a month so they actually give you some incentives of staying with them so after what is this four months uh, yeah four months you get an Instagram influencer revenue explode. So revealing the power of influencers, how to effectively vet influencers, how to negotiate and scale influencers. 90 days, you get a case study and 60 days, you get Facebook ads, uh, grenade training. So all that stuff is really cool. And it's very interesting to me. So uh, if you if you do end up staying with this, I don't know if I will, I'm gonna have to practice, I'm gonna play around with it for a month for sure. And then you know, 60 days, uh -huh, I don't know, we'll see. But let, let's let's keep looking around with this app and see what else it offers. So audience builder. So we actually saw this in dropship spy so dropship spy was a good product research app very good product research app i really enjoyed it audience builder and here this is a very similar tool looks really good i just want to say everything on this app is beautiful and works very intuitively uh, so you know if you want to do alcohol for example so we're doing one of those uh you know whatever so we got wine sisterhood twisted wine noble wines vine finds wine whatever and we got all these pages that we can target so that's interesting and that's going to definitely help you when you're coming up with your audience interests and for your targeting on Facebook ads. So we got a bunch of things here. We got drinking pages, wine popular. So when we're doing our single interest, we can take one of everything here and then just duplicate them and try other things within that. So for example, if you want to scale here and your wine sisterhood worked well, well, I'd scale it by duplicating it, adding 15% to the budget, making another ad set and adding twisted wine. And seeing how that works since popular wines worked well you know you can try something else in popular wines so that's something i like to do and the audience element builder here is actually a great tool for beginners and even intermediates because a lot of the things that are stopping you guys are coming up with the ideas to test so interest that you should be testing you're not coming up with just because you don't know how to use audience insights properly or you're just kind of in a brain funk. So that kind of, this gets rid of any of that stuff. So you can immediately come up with an idea and you can start going from there, right? You can go from beach life to beach party and then come up with your own ideas from there. So that makes things easier. And then that kind of puts you into the path of least resistance, which means you can take action easier. So that's definitely a really good sign to me. And the other product research tools that I've talked about, only this one and Dropship Spy actually have this tool. And I think this is a really, really great tool for those of you that struggle with coming up with insights, uh, sorry, with interests. So this is a really great one. So I'd suggest, I'd argue that this would be one of the, the better tools in this. Obviously, if you're more intermediate, more expert in Shopify, you shouldn't really have trouble coming up with interests. You know how to use audience insights and you know how to come up with those. But 
you know, if you're struggling with that, if you don't really know how to target a product, like I always get questions about how to target a product. Well, here it is, guys, you can use this. This will definitely help you out. And yeah, you know, you click on novelty, let's see what they have here. So nine gig, right? So that's something I wouldn't even think about. Funny or die, cracked, BuzzFeed, fuck Jerry, guff, right? When you're selling novelty products, these are the kinds of things that you're gonna wanna be targeting. Like it's just so natural, right? When I see it, but before I saw it, I didn't really think of nine gag or sarcasm or internet meme, right? These are these aren't really interests I'm thinking about targeting. So this is good. This is very good. Uh, then we have the engagement calculator. So this is a good way of double checking how Facebook ads are doing. So we'll go back to this, but essentially it's their own algorithm. And once you put in all these metrics here, it's going to come up with an engagement score. And based on this engagement score, we can know whether it's a good score or not and how well this Facebook ad is actually doing. So I've shown in my other videos, you know, finding really high engaged Facebook ads, but how long have they been running for and how many engagements they have is something that, you know, I can't calculate that I can't calculate off the top of my head. So looking at this engagement score will give me a better idea, a more objective idea, right? Because they have some kind of objective metrics that they're measuring and some objective algorithm, hopefully, that can tell me whether this product is hot or not and whether it's still getting engagement. So because, you know, if you have 2 million views over the course of five years, right, it might not be hot, but it might be a very good engaged ad for its time, but not anymore. Okay, so then we have, okay, no, that was a terrible, uh, terrible example. All right, so if the, if the ad is still running, it's probably doing well. So let's go look at these. So these warm products. So this is interesting. So these are products uh, that they think are on the rise. So let's just go find something that just appeals to me, right? So as you can see, I haven't seen a lot of these products. So this one right here sticks out to me right away. Water bottles. Have you guys seen that fucking Swift? What is it? Swell water bottles that sell for like $39. This one has like a, a crystal in it and crystals are... Crystals are what everybody wants these days. So that's a good product. I haven't seen it. Crystal water bottle elixir. Wow. So that's beautiful. What is this? One click Shopify import. Okay, so they have that. That's definitely a plus, even though that's that's a standard. So a lot of the stuff that we're going to see here is very standard. And let's go click on their ad. Let's actually go and see how this engagement score is working. So lemon apparel is the... So this ad was posted three weeks ago which means it was posted on the 6th of November. So let's go back here. Let's open this in a new tab. Let's do the 6th of November and let's see what we get with this product, right? So 2018 and let's go see it has how many 6.4 K likes 6,400 comments. How many comments did it have? I can't remember. Wow. Two and a half thousand comments and shares. I could have done this in like one go if I really tried. Three, three, five, nine. Three, three, five, nine shares. So let's get the score. So 81. So this is a warm product, right? And I think that's why it's in the super warm. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> that's why it's in the warm category. I bet if I take any of these products, it's going to be in there. So it's a warm product, and that's why they put it there. <laughs> okay, well... Okay, yeah, so it's a warm product, but it looks cool and it actually might be doing well, but let's go back to it and let's just analyze the kind of stuff that we get in this product page. So we get Facebook ad info. We get the suggestions for ad copy, but in all honesty, I look at this ad copy and I think uh, this is shit. Have you ever heard of our new crystal? Get yours here. Okay, cool. Maybe the ad is nice. I didn't actually look at the ad. Facebook ad example. So there's the metrics. I could... Facebook competitor, what is this? So it actually doesn't show us the store selling it, which is weird, but let's go click on this. I wanna actually go find this product. I'm curious myself. Sorry guys, 100% natural crystals. But what does that mean? Nobody knows. And where is the, is there no link to it? Let's go click on here. Let's click on the info and ads. Let's go shop now. Wow, so they have it at a zero dollars. I'm kind of sketched out by this, but this is nice, right? This is a very nice product page. Wow, oh my god, this is why I love these fucking rocks and shit. Look at what they have a stone for balance, especially good for men. <laughs> Storage sleeve included, but man, zero dollars. Fuck, that's like I'm actually cu curious. Let's just see. So they have a okay, let's just click buy it now. 
I don't like that this store is so basic though. Why not change that color? <sighs> Guys, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Over 34.24, like, what the fuck? What, what, what is this supposed to mean? How can you, how can you ship a quarter of a product? A quarter of an order? I want to boast about that shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. That, anyway, cool product, cool listing. I like this product. I check it out. And let's see what they got. Let's see if anything just like pops out at me. So first of all, what I want to do is check how different it is from things like Pexta and things like Niche Scraper. So let's check it out. So let's have a look through together. All right. All right. All right. And then let's go back to this app, Pexta. And as you can see, the products are very different, which is a good sign because Income Hunt and Product List Genie had identical products. So that was something I noticed. And I showed it on my channel and you guys can go check my other product research reviews. I'm actually going to be organizing all my videos and not just putting everything in Shopify step by step. So, <laughs> and then here we also have different products, which is a good sign. There are some similarities, obviously, but that's expected. So cool products, right? A lot of these products I have seen and a lot of these products are doing really well. But let's go click on one of them and see if the hot products actually differentiate themselves in a different way. So... Is this, are, are these orders? Oh, this is good. So they actually give you three different AliExpress links that nobody else does. I mean, that's not crazy, but it does help. We have the ad here. We have, okay, here. Now we have some good ad copy. How cute are these king and queen necklace? Show that special someone how much they mean to you. So that's nice. And the Facebook ads targeting in a relationship. Obviously, I love jewelry. Obviously, I don't know who H. Samuel is, but it's very easy to find out. Let's go click on the ad. So it is just a regular slideshow and let's go click on this and let's go open up this. You know how I have to just check out every store that I come to see what what's up with them, see what they're doing. They are, they have a one star review. Oh, wow. That's really nice packaging. Don't think it, I wonder if that's real. How deep is your love? Is it like Nirvana? Hit me harder. Okay. So they're doing well with these kinds of products. So that's good for them. This is nice. It's a really nice website. I like it. Yeah. Wow. This is beautiful. All right. So that's their website. That's cool. But yeah, so that's going to do it for hot products. I, I think, is there anything else? No, nope, that looks like it. So the, here's the products that I've recently viewed. So they show you how many hot products they have right now, how many warm products they have their engagement calculator. So everything's easy here to do. Let me click on account settings. Oh, so you can connect your Shopify store here. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. So this app is pretty good. Uh, $27 for your first month is not bad. I couldn't find you guys any coupon codes. So I think you're gonna have to pay that price. But otherwise, <sighs> but otherwise, it's a good, it's a good product research tool. I really enjoy it. And there's not much else to say, right? They have really unique products here. Definitely products that I haven't seen anywhere else. Unlike any other product research apps. And I like the way they have it sorted out as warm products and hot products. And they have cool stuff that nobody else is finding for you. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, all that crap. Help my channel like crazy. And you guys have already probably seen all of those things that I put in the like and the subscribe button pop up. I put those in all the time just to get you guys to remember to like, comment and shit. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I forgot.